So I'm here for my second visit after uh, several months. Obviously, there's been some delays with COVID-19. So I've just got to take you around just to show what progress there is. So this is where the front door to the bus station is going to be. Next door, uh, the windows are in and everything's watertight, which is fantastic. Uh, and I'll take you inside and we'll have a look what's going on. So it's only once you're inside that you can actually get a feel for the scale and the size of what will be the peddler, uh, the food and beverage downstairs. It's going to be an absolutely brilliant space to come and have a coffee or a, a beer in the evenings or a meal. So probably about 15 foot underneath me is where, if you remember last time, we showed you where the culverts were being replaced. There's three culverts go into the harbour and one of them goes right down uh, underneath the bus station. So the steel work is going in for this lift, uh, which will be here, up to the uh, first floor. So things are really moving on quickly now. So what I'll do now is I'll take you up to the first floor, and this is where the business incubation and business support element of the bus station will be. So as you can see, the stud work's going up for the pods. There'll be a central area for uh, networking and having a coffee interaction with different businesses. And you can see that, uh, again, these will be lovely and light due to the uh, art deco windows of the old bus station so as well as the pods and the meeting rooms where you know areas are private there'll also be plenty of central areas where individuals businesses can interact and hopefully do uh, great business in the bus station so even though we're on the upper floor you get a real feeling for how light it's going to be because everywhere where you see uh, the open sky will be light and windows Ooh. And then above, you can see where the ducting is going to be exposed. So there's going to be a really contemporary feel to the place. I'm really excited to see the finish because it's going to be really cool. So it's been a while since uh, I came here the first time, and it's really exciting to see how Thomas Armstrong are motoring now. Uh, obviously, we had a, quite a big bump in the road with lockdown, and that's had a knock-on effect with suppliers and so on. But it's great to see how much progress has been made. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic space here in the middle of Whitehaven for businesses and also for, for leisure as well with the downstairs with the peddler. So we'll come back in a few more weeks just to see how these guys are getting on. But I'm really, really impressed.